Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. Uh, today we're going to show you a few things that we've been up to, uh, quite important things. Uh, but anybody that's new to the channel, a bit of background on us. We are the Novice Explorers and this is Flora. We have self-converted her over the last two years from an empty panel van into a camper van. Just recently we completed one very important stage of the conversion process which is changing our V5 socu Sockument? Sockument? <laughs> V5 document from a panel van, commercial vehicle, into a motor caravan. Yes. So we've already successfully completed the process, which is why we're filming the video now. We're confident that we've done things right. All the information in this video is correct as of uh, September 2018. If you're watching this way in the future, things may have changed. But as of right now, uh, these are the stipulations and the requirements you have to meet. Yes. A few points to consider and some of the reasons for changing uh, your V5C over to motor caravan is numero uno, biggie, insurance. With it being changed on your insurance to motor caravan, I feel as if we've got more appropriate insurance. And it's cheaper generally as well. So our quote next year, it saved us about £200. We're hoping for a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we're, we were really happy with that, weren't we? Reason number two is that ferries and toll roads are generally cheaper as well if you're registered as a motor caravan, so that's a bonus, especially with our future plans. Every saving does really help at this point because we've spent so much money <laughs> trying to get this van to where it is. Yeah, and not that it particularly bothers us, but then at the same time, I suppose it'll stop us from getting a ticket. We can drive faster now. The speed limits have been increased if you drive a camper van instead of a panel van. Also, there's a potential to be refused campsites in sort of mainland Europe if you aren't registered or even look like a motor caravan. So to avoid that risk, just do this, yeah. I think. Anyway. So there is plenty of advice and help out there if you need it. Uh, we have used a VW T5 forum for help and there's also a great Facebook page which is Self Build Campers and they, there's loads of members on that group which point you in the right direction. Um, and answer any questions that you have. Yeah, and also thanks to uh, the adventures of Sarah and James who kind of prompted us to do this. Yeah. We w initially were going to leave it. Yeah. And I think we we're happy that we did actually go for it in the end. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, we thought it would be a lot more issues with it. But mm. half of the uh, stipulations that DVL say, which we'll go on to in a minute, we were already thinking about and had already got in the van anyway. So. There are seven things the DVLA says that you need to do to your van to make it a motor caravan. Number one, a door that provides access to the living accommodation. A bed which measures a minimum of 180 centimetres. This can be converted from other seating, uh, but it must be permanently fixed. A water storage tank, which can be in or on the vehicle. A seating and dining area, which has a table that can always be permanently fixed to the shell of the vehicle. Permanent means of storage, if it be a locker, a cupboard or a wardrobe. Uh, permanently fixed cooking facilities, this could be gas or electric. And last point, at least one window on the side of the accommodation. So let's see how we've made those requirements a reality in our van. Do you like that one? How do you like that one? Mm, you liked that one, didn't you? So. First point on the list was an easy one. It was to have doors to the living accommodation. So these are already provided. Oh yeah, at this point, Callum, you need to put a cha-ching, tick, something. Gold star, don't know. Point number two is a bed that measures a minimum of 180 centimeters which can be made out of seating. So we've got the bench and then it turns into a bed as we pull it out, as we'll show you now. Next up, water storage. We have a 25 litre drum that lives under here. 
Uh, we've created this so that it's easy access, easy to refill and easy to clean also. A seating and dining area. The table can be detachable, but it must have a permanent means of attaching to the shell of the vehicle. Also, cheers. <laughs> and one thing we don't lack is fixed storage. Uh, cupboards, wardrobes, under the bed. So the DVLA states that it could be a cupboard, a wardrobe or a locker. Next, onto our fixed cooking facility. We have chosen gas, two ring burner and it's hidden under this countertop. You could also have an electric microwave and electric induction hobs, but we've chosen classic gas. So last but not least, you need at least one window on the side of your living accommodation. Ta-da! We went for a nice privacy um, look. <laughs> the privacy glass look, darling. So we took 16 pictures of the van all of the requirements that were needed for the reclassification. We then printed them off, six before, in colour. On the DVLA website, you'll find a template of a letter that you can download and use. You'll have to modify it to suit the specifications of your van and your address and your details, etc. but it pretty much gets you most of the way there. Yeah, so we chose those 16 pictures, labelled them, and then on that covering letter, from one to 16, then each photo, you explain what's in the photo and how it meets right, which requirements. So for instance, the table. We mentioned that it's a table, uh, that it's got a means of permanent fixing to the shell of the van, and photos uh, after that, the one after, it would show the mechanism of how it, how it fixes to the side of the van. Just being really thorough and all of your evidence in one place. When writing your covering letter, you need to make sure the pictures and your text correspond and that you're explaining what you've done in each picture. So once you've got your letter and your photo sorted, it's just time to change with the 5C document. Fortunately, this is quite straightforward. There's only one section you really need to change unless you've done drastic modifications yeah. to the van. So you need to change the wheel plan and body type to motor caravan. And that is unless you've changed any other things to do with your van, i.e. the colour, the weight, and have you added any more seats and seat belts to the vehicle too. So our top tips would be to make sure that all your documentation matches up, make sure the dates match up, all the pictures, uh, the reg plates. Yeah, signatures too. Yeah, just make sure that that is all making sense and all is fluid and works together. Yeah. Uh, I kind of took over this and all the paperwork, didn't I? I found it like a good old GCSE project. So you've got all your evidence, and all your pictures, and you've got to make sure that uh, when they receive it, that they know it's you and your van. So the reg plate helps, the date and the names and stuff. And lastly, one more thing to consider. I'm not sure if this is still such a strict stipulation, but the DVLA like to see that it looks like a motor caravan from the outside. Again, we've heard of people being refused because it you know, if you uh, convert a Luton box and it still looks like a Luton, sometimes that doesn't pass. But we're not sure how strict they are on that, but just be aware that sometimes it's got to look more like a motor caravan than an old van. Yeah, and also take pride in your pictures. Try and make it look as nice and as professional as possible, I think, because that, yeah. that'll help them make up their mind that it is fully functional and ready to go. Yeah, and you kind of want this process just to be done in one go. You don't want to be back and forth with D DVLA, although, that said, we got our letter back in just over a week, which is very impressive. It's not always the case. Some people I've heard have waited weeks and weeks, sometimes months, uh, but we were very fortunate, I think, because Meg was so anal that um, they were like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> They've sorted that out. Look at the way that's labeled from one to 60. 
Anyway, we hope you found this video somewhat useful. Um, if you want to ask us a question, then you can do in the comments below. Any of our social medias, um, they'll be linked below. We've got a blog yeah. if you want more detail about how we did things. Yeah, the blog is very much more in detail. And we've also added pictures of the, the kind of like the letter that we sent and like the back of the pictures just to really show you exactly how we did it and how it all was received um, to the, D the DBLA. So catch us on the next one. Uh, it's September as we're filming this and we've got a few things up our sleeves. So stay tuned, like and subscribe if you haven't already, share it with your friends that you know that are converting their van and we'll see you on the next one.